Okay, we've finished scanning images of our cells in multiple channels. Uh, these data came from this well in the six well microtiter plate, uh, well A2, and uh, they are in this location in that well. We're going to open them in EVOS analysis, so we'll go ahead and do that. Here are the image files for the data set, and this is the transmitted light image uh, taken in phase. We go over here and with the toolbar at the bottom we have a number of different options for annotation and measurements but we're going to switch over to this show cell count tool so clicking on that brings up uh, three different methods of doing cell count one's an auto count one's a manual count and in this one we've actually got um, calculations of confluence and transfection efficiency so we'll start for th with confluence because confluence uh, calculates the area of the image that's covered by cells. We'll need that first. And then we'll do our transfection efficiency, which will calculate the amount of fluorescence area within that cell area. So starting off with confluence, we select a target zone here by clicking and dragging over an area that has cells in it. And then we will create a background by dragging in an area that's open here. Um, this is our confluence calculation and we can increase the sensitivity and kind of expand it a little bit to fill in some areas that are maybe missing a little bit here and uh, that looks pretty good uh, we've got 76 percent confluence so we can move on to doing transfection efficiency so clicking on this part of the tool opens up the controls for that um, these are the fluorescence channels that are available with this data set and uh, it's on GFP right now, which is the correct one for looking at uh, uh, expression of GFP. Both of the channels are being shown here, fluorescence and transmitted light. We can turn off the transmitted light and see what the pure fluorescence signal looks like. We've got very bright cells and some very dim cells. Um, what we're going to want to do is adjust this so that we are selecting all of our positive cells. So to do that, there's a threshold slider here and this is our transfection efficiency down here and uh, what we need to do is bring this over and slide it to the point where we're getting what is the correct amount of transfection efficiency for this image and that's something that's determined by the end user uh, right now this is 32 percent so it's only picking kind of the highest expression levels um, I'm more comfortable with something in the 42 percent range I'd say for this image so we're going to use this setting and to check it we can turn on this threshold mask and the mask shows us the pixels that have been selected as positive um, it's possible to switch this to a different color if we want to do that I'm going to leave it in this white mode here um, and then we can just kind of toggle this on and off and see what has been selected it might also be helpful to turn off the transmitted light channel and then just kind of check by looking here and you can see that uh, pretty much most of the bright signal has been picked up by that selection and then the dimmer signal has been left behind so we'll go ahead and select this and uh, go with these measurements uh, right now we've got 76 percent confluence for this field of view and 42 percent transfection efficiency